Welcome to, to Dubai. Dubai. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 things you should know before traveling to Dubai. From the last three videos that we did, you would have seen what we got up to in the last 72 hours. We had three days in Dubai and we managed to squeeze so much. Um, for this time, this video is gonna be a bit more raw and a bit more of a, mm, some opinions and things that you should know so that you can avoid some problems traveling to Dubai and just little bits and pieces so that you are prepared and that you know what to expect before you come to Dubai. Let's dive right into it. Okay, let's start with number one. So no PDA, and that means no public display of affection. Now the Dubai government has some strict laws about public intimacy. So what I mean by that, no kissing, no stroking, no petting, no nothing like that. Um, just because you are coming into a Muslim country where it's a bit of a different place, you know, where there is, it's more prohibited. So if you were, if you were a couple, you are able to hold hands, but kissing is definitely prohibited. Just bear in mind, be careful how you conduct yourself to your loved ones in public, because it is definitely something that is not tolerated. Okay, second, unmarried couples. It is really true that unmarried couples are not allowed to stay together in a house or a hotel unless they are married. Most foreign hotel chains, they were pretty easy with that and they were allowing it. But however, the UAE law has changed from Saturday, November 7, 2020 and the UAE government now allows unmarried couples to legally live together or stay in a hotel together. So it's not longer an offense or a crime. So you're, if you're an unmarried couple, nothing to worry about from now. Number three, drone use. Now, a lot of content creators love to go to Dubai to film those beautiful skyscrapers. It is true that it is illegal to bring or use your drone in Dubai. However, if you are a resident or your UAE, or you are, or you have some special permission to, a special permit to use it, then you'll get away with it. But most of the times your drone will be confiscated at the airport, but don't worry, you'll get it back as you leave. Dubai. So this is something you need to keep in mind if you are bringing a drone to the country that it's probably not worth it because it, you can't really fly it. Keep that in mind. Number four, no drinking in public spaces. It's common sense but it can happen especially for tourists who don't know about it. You must know Dubai and the UAE is a Muslim country and drinking is not allowed. However, drinking alcohol is possible in licensed areas such as your hotel or in a bar or in a pub. Number five, no tolerance for drugs. So, as I say, basically, if you're planning to do this, don't even come to Dubai. Uh, if you ever get caught with drugs in your possession or you use it or you sell it, you can face a massive fine. Once again, but worse, you can land in prison. So don't even think about it. Six, no offensive language or swearing. This sounds common sense too, but a simple offensive language or use of offensive hand gestures or even abusive behaviors can you get arrested, fined or even in prison. So remember to be very respectful. You are coming to a country where what you do or say may be very sensitive. Number seven, do not photograph or film anyone without their consent. Now, I know this happens a lot when you're traveling, especially as a foreigner, you see a beautiful skyscraper or an, an attraction and there's always going to be crowds at it. If there's someone there definitely close to you and they're going to be on the shot, just ask for permission or ask them politely because people really hate it and if, and, and if you ever get caught taking photos of people 
or the people sees you, you can easily get reported and arrested for this. I know it sounds funny, but it does happen and they do value their privacy. So be mindful of that and be respectful. Number eight, safety in Dubai. With all the rules enforced and the laws they have, Dubai is classified as a very safe country. Dubai's crime rate is very low or even non-existent, so you don't have to worry about uh, too much. But common sense though, be careful of with your belongings, all right? I mean, it is a safe country, but doesn't mean you should leave your camera or no. be silly in public yes. and make yourself, yeah. Number nine, the best time to travel in Dubai. Now you guys are wondering that Dubai is such a hot destination, especially in the desert. And I think coming into the right time of Dubai will save you time from being excluded by this massive heat wave. So we traveled in August, obviously, and it's one of the hottest time to go in Dubai with temperatures ranging between 35 to 45 degrees plus humidity. So the best time to travel is actually between October to April where you'll experience the winter time. But don't be afraid when I say winter time. The winter time is your typical European American summer. So the temperatures are around 20 to 35 degrees usually 20 to 30 actually. So this is the best time to travel because you'll be able to easily do those tours. You can walk around without this intense heat and humidity. And walking around in Dubai gets really, really hot. So for us in August, I think we've experienced that walking around to, to the Metro, we can't even do the desert safari tours because it was that hot. Number 10, dress appropriately. Cover shoulders and knees when visiting religious places like mosques. Bear in mind you are entering a Muslim country, so dress appropriately in public and be respectful. When it comes to beach clubs or the beach, it is more relaxed with swimwear, shorts or bikinis. Alright, so that was our top 10 things you should know before coming to Dubai. If you have any more questions, just drop it down below in the comment section. And we'll do our best to get back to you guys. But yeah, be safe and if you need any more travel tips and stuff, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe and click that bell button to be notified every time we upload a video. Once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.